Hey guys, I got a special guest with me, one of a uh, friend from Africa. Um, yeah, he's live on the radio. What's up, bro? Hi. Yeah. So basically, you speaking to all my fans on speak on radio and everything, dude. Um, yeah, tell tell them about yourself, man. I'm glad to be here with you guys. I'm from Uganda. I'm called Daniel. <coughs> It's really a great pleasure to be with DJ Robin. <laughs> and uh, he does some footage for me from Ghana. Um, yeah, how's that going, dude, by the way? Yeah, I'm soon sending you maybe tomorrow I'll send because I was in Queen, Queen Elizabeth National Park today. Uh, so we're going to... We... I'll be summarizing up with all the stuff. So I'll send it maybe tomorrow in the evening. Right, dude, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> If you get in there, you can come to Ghana and visit Queen Elizabeth National Park and see that you... I'm planning plans. next next year, I'm coming to Ghana, bro. I'm coming to stay with you, bro. <laughs> I'll be grateful. I'll come, I'll, 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 I'll come stay with you, bro, and we can go on the game reserves and see all the wild animals and just look and look how God made the beautiful world, you know? So you are welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, basically, this is my good friend from Ghana. He helps me do videos in Africa. Uh, also helps me with artists and stuff like that. And yeah, which is which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, what else can you? Yeah. So what else can you tell me, my brother? I'm um, just encouraging you to give you that time. Yeah. Let them feel free to come to Africa and enjoy their life in Africa. Yeah, you need to tell everybody in 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 America, Joe, that it's not like how they say it is. You know, they all they seeing things on uh, adverts that uh, Africa is destitute. They need help, and the, the Americans are believing the story. The adverts on TV, you know. So you need to tell them the truth, man. Wow, they were just like they just trying to group you guys not to come to Africa, but there is no problem down in Africa. Yeah, okay, it depends on which country you're going to. There are some strict, strict countries, but Uganda, we don't have any problem. Yeah, Ghana, Uganda, Uganda is a country. nice place, man. It's a free country, free yeah. country to everyone there, as long as you have your documents. Pretty much, pretty much, pretty much. So it's like, it's always like that, you know, so it's pretty cool. So, I mean, how's your family, my friend? My family is not good, not bad. Oh, that's good, that's good. They are not bad, they are, all of them, they are just waiting for you. They are waiting for the day you come to Africa to see them. Hey, I'll, I'll come, Joe, I'll come. I'll come to Where Ghana. Come I'll come to Ghana. Forget, just do one thing, don't forget the boy. With my daughter, huh? hey, I'll, I'll, I'll bring my little, I'll bring my little boy with man, and then we can have a good chat, you know. Uh-huh. That's good. Which is which is bonus, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's all good, and it's like, yeah. Uh-huh. And you know, you always phone me when I'm down, you know. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you always do you always do that to me, bro. Like every time I'm down, you like DJ Robin's down. I know it. Let me fold him. I'll cheer him up every time, Joe. Um, you never know there is a bone between you and me. Yeah, I know, I know. But you know, it's it's always always the case. You know, like when I'm down, then you're like, hey, okay, I'm gonna give you a call, and then you'll be like, yeah. Yes, it's good. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, it's so good. You know, when I'm down, I'm upset. And then my friend from Ghana says, no, brother, you're my brother from another mother. I got to phone you, you know? And it's like, I don't know. Every time you phone me, it's like, yeah, I just got this big smile on my face. You know, like every all my problems have disappeared, you know? And uh, yes, yes, yes. yeah, it's, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. It's like, it's it's a good thing, though. You know what I mean? And uh, me and you are going to do amazing things so we can show everybody in the States that how how Africa is, isn't it? Yes, yes. Yeah, you just wait me tomorrow. 
Yeah, I can't. I'll let you know by evening I'll send all the clips I've got. Uh, that's going to be amazing, dude. It's going to be cool. And then I'll put you in it, you know? And then you'll be like, Hola, Jimbo! <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. And you'll be like, yes, I like I like this sort of thing, you know? Like, uh, this is Jimbo here going, Hola, Jimbo's, you know? And you're like, hey, I saw your new picture, bro. You, you, you look like a, a Zulu guy. So you're like, yeah. And you're like, hey, hola, chibos. Yes, yes. I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm a Zulu now. Hey, Ghana. <laughs> you know? I was like, yeah, what the hell? Mm-hmm. You know? I was like, what, 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 what's going on here? This, this is a guy from uh, Ghana. And now he's dressing up as a Zulu man. What's happening, bro? It's supposed to be a different. <laughs> It's supposed to be a different, like, catch, you know what I mean? And mm-hmm. you were always, I, know, I look on Facebook and you were like, I was like looking at, who the hell is this? Because I'm so used to your calls from uh, WhatsApp, you know? And then next where I see a Zulu man, I'm mm-hmm. like, I'm not sure I know a Zulu man dressed like that, Joe. No ways. <laughs> I'm not too sure. I'm scared now because a Zulu means a warrior, I- bro. You don't, you don't need to get scared. I know, I know, but... Hey, I was you like... Know what that is, eh? What's that? No, baby. What's that? As in the cultures, no, some of they are, they are related. You find people from Zulu coming down to Uganda, so we copy the culture. And those from Zulu, they copy the culture of Uganda. So that's the problem, but you don't have to be scared. Well, you need to tell you need to tell everybody about the culture, you know, in Africa, you know. So go uh, ahead, dude. Now this... in Uganda, we have a lot of cultures. I I hope when you come down here, yeah? yeah, you let them know everything because you will get to see everything. But it's been a long time. I haven't been in Africa, you know. I'm a little bit rusty in the bush. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 in the bush in the bush you know what I mean uh, the lions and the <laughs> elephants and I'll be like ah, a lion ish, ish, ish. I'm running bro. <laughs> this time we will sleep with them because here in Uganda we have them just here by our homes ay 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 I, I, mm. I'll make sure I'll be okay Joe you know I'll be like hey, you, show, you show the dogs luck bro I'll make sure you say the doors locked, you know, and you'll be like, "Yes, this, this is good. This is good stuff, man." <laughs> but how do you? Uh, the funny thing is that how do you actually yeah. know every time I'm down, you know, and you decide, "Oh, okay, I'm gonna phone you from Ghana," and you're like, "Okay, yeah, this is good. This is good. You know what I mean?" And you know, every time I'm sad and down, and like I'm gonna be like, "Hey." DJ Robin is down. I'm going to give him a call. How the hell do you know this, bro? you like a... That's the Magoche wheel, my friend. I think it's the Magoche, you know? You get the Magoche rolling the bones, bro, telling you what's going on, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, if anybody's listening to this, uh, basically uh, a Magoche is like a medicine person that actually tells us what's happening in our future and it's like a witch doctor um yeah you can tell them more uh, tell you, the the radio station's yours bro you can you can hold it you've got like uh, quite a few people listening to us so yeah just tell them about how africa is and everything like that dude uh africa let me basically talk about uganda because i've spent most of the time in uganda it's where I was born. That was in 1990. Damn. October 11th. No, August 11th. That was the year I was born. So till that day, up to date, I've spent most of my life down in my motherland. That's Uganda. And I've moved. I've visited most of the parts of Uganda. When you come down here to Uganda, I don't think there is a much big difference between Uganda and other countries, other African countries. It's just that the cultures somehow differ, how they behave, how they do their things. 
As in some creatures, you have to marry more than five wives in one house. But here down in Uganda, it's a curse for a man to marry five wives in one house. But now these, it was a curse by then. But now these people have started copying the cultures of our countries. So they're coming into Uganda. We find a man in one wife, we need five wives in one house. By then, those years, for we used to know only one, how what can I say? But let me leave it to you, when he comes down here to Uganda, yeah. I'll make sure I'll give him all the notes. Hey, bro, that's good to be. When I come down to Uganda, bro, I'm telling you now, I'm going to be shitting my bricks because I haven't been, <laughs> I haven't been in <laughs> Africa for a while, bro. The last time I was in Africa, dude, I'll be honest with you now, legitly. I remember I was walking with a bushman and a bushman told me a wise thing, dude. Taught me a mm. lot of thing of life, you know. Always treat mm. everybody with respect and you will get respect back. And, you know, in Africa, a lot of people see that, you know. And if you move to a different country like, say, England and mm. like the States uh, or Australia, dude, you know, we give respect, you know, we want to earn that respect. And when we have that respect, so we down, say, here, down here, what we say, if you don't give the person your phone their respect, they'll all tell you, yeah. Uganda is not about buildings, but it's about people. What they mean, the country is not made of buildings, but people. Yeah. Why well, you understand what I say? I understand what you mean. So, you don't give me respect. I'll show you what you're supposed to do when you come to Uganda, when you're not in Uganda. Please, bro, you know, it's been a long time. I'm resting in the bush, you know. It's been a long time, bro. But, uh, hey, Doc, uh, hey, Popstar. Basically, this is a good friend from Ghana. He does videos for me in Ghana and Africa to show you guys how Africa is all about. And now he's telling you about the culture down there. Um, do you want to tell them more, dude? What you eat and how it is? Let me give you the thing tomorrow. I'll give you more. I... Let me make my notes. <laughs> you go with your notes. <laughs> I'm going to collect notes for you. I'll get paid every night. Uh, I'll be talking to you. Uh, so you got, you're going to send it to me, yeah? And you'll be like, yeah, 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 yeah. be like, this is the notes of me surviving in the bush, and this is the <laughs> rules of the Bible, you know. Um, and then a lion comes after me, and I'm like, oh crap, I'm in trouble. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm in Let trouble. Let me ask you a question. What's that? Of the wild animal, yes. What do, what is cat of more? Cat of the man. Hmm. I have no idea, brother. On wild animals, eh? On wild what animals. Cares? I'm saying on wild animals. I have no idea, mm -hmm. bro. I know yours. Really? I I know yours is basically uh, when you last sent me footage of Africa, of Ghana. Mm -hmm. uh, it was the monkeys. They were everywhere, bro. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, monkeys. There are these monkeys in Uganda. <laughs> And, and you're getting a call, bro. Much, eh? much is that uh, they are like now human beings because we still with them. I know we we you know that's a that's a proven fact. You know that um, mm -hmm. being like that, you know. So it's just like uh, a human, it, like it's a human form, but in the ape species. You know what I mean? Right, like exactly. back in the day, you know. So. Mm -hmm. Which is pretty cool, you know what I mean, my friend. So it's all good, bro. It's all good, but we we need to show we need to show our friends and my audience that you know things are uh, like it's crazy, you know. So um, it's all good, you know what I mean. Um, by the way, I've sent you the the radio station that we're on now, dude, so you can have a look. So yeah, things. Uh, so yeah. Okay, it's been hard. It's been fun. I've been around speaking to your friends. Pretty much, yeah. Greetings to all those who are listening. Love you all. 
that, that's all he's listening now is for. And um, you got a question. Oh, no, you don't have a question, dude. You're right. Um, so basically, dude, we're going to end the show, guys. Um, I'm going to end the show. Basically, I want to say apologize to Dark Revenge family once again uh, and Venus because there was a lot of drama happening. And me and my friend Ghana from Ghana, we're going to just go off air and he's going to probably chair me up as usual. So um, I'll be right back later. Peace out. Hey, my friend, we... we, we yes, yes.